Do you use put pr- put pressure like on your fingers yes. to get in your asshole? Yeah, a yeah, little me bit. too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I come. I mean, the, <laughs> I mean, the toilet paper's not gonna do it. It's getting hot in here because we're going on the road. You stand clear. Oh, Hold what's on. up, guys? Everywhere we're going is fucking cold, and that's fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tour dates. We just opened up 400 more seats at Town Hall in New York Whoa. City, March 24th. It's a Thursday. Thirsty Thursday, March 24th, Town Hall, New York City. The next night, March 25th, The Late Show at the Wilbur Theater in Boston, Massachusetts. Has less than 100 tickets left. Get that. First show sold out. Then we got a second show added in Atlanta, April 2nd, the Saturday Variety Playhouse, Atlanta, Georgia. And then after that, we have April 14th, Dallas, Texas, moving and fucking grooving. Uh, April 15th, the Paramount Theater in Austin, Texas. I believe we're adding the Saturday, the 16th as well. Austin, Texas, Paramount Theater. Then I'm just going to run through the rest of them. Uh, Buffalo, Toronto, Huntington, New York, a.k.a. Long fucking Oil in. Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Baltimore, San Diego. We added a second show the night before, Wednesday the 18th. Uh, And then May 20th, we're wrapping it up in Los Angeles. If you heard any of those on your cities, go to Trevor Walls Comedy. Dot com. The tour has been a fucking blast, and I can't wait to see you guys out there. Goddamn. Michael Blasen is on tour. Uh, let's see. Uh, April 16th, I will be in Los Angeles, California at the Troubadour Theater. The first show is pretty much sold out, so go grab them. May 11th, I will be in Buffalo, New York. November 2nd, I will be in Houston, Texas. November 3rd, I will be in Dallas, Texas. And there is going to be a bunch more dates coming very soon. If you'd like to see me yell about feet and yell about my kinks, go on blowcomedy.com for tickets. Gabe, hit him with a mother effing splat. You know what they need to come out with? Bigger dicks. Yes. Well, that and <laughs> All right, good night, everyone. Apple, Apple needs to come out with its own line of fleshlights. Um, yes. Okay. Apple fleshlights. That's what I need. Wh- why? Because, what, what about that? Because everything Apple does is just the next upper but echelon But here's the thing. You'd be able to fuck it for like a month and they'd be like, oh, well, you need a bigger dick to fuck this one. You or, need a smaller dick to fuck this one. USB-C cocks. Can you imagine if you just like out fucked your girlfriend's vagina? What, what do you mean? Like if you, how do I, if your girlfriend's Like you, you ever vagina, buy an iPhone charger from the airport and it works for 12 times yep. and then it's just not working? That's what I mean. Is that what you mean? Yep. Well, I was more so, more so saying like your girlfriend's vagina was like a, like, a, like a baseball mitt and you just out, it was just done. Did you baseball mitts ever... Retire? I feel like you can catch a lot of balls before them bitches tap out. Yeah, but there's a point. Same with Cooter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sips Hot Club. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? You're like, you, th- you think you get it? I just think, like, Fleshlight's great, and they make a great product. And no, we're not we're sponsored by them. But I'm telling you, like, trying think, to be. think about if Apple came out with a Fleshlight. Think about how sleek and like the design would just be fucking pristine. You would look at, like you look at the flashlight now and you're like, oh, I want to put my cock in it because I know it's inside. Yeah. But if Apple made it, the outside would make you want to fuck it. Like it would just be, it just looked like a I'll dolphin's tell you who back. Needs to make one? Tesla. Hmm. Bro. Yeah. How do you feel about people that say Tesla? I hate them. Tesla, Tesla. How do you what feel is about it? People saying tomatoes. All that Get wrong. out of the country. Anything wrong. All I'm saying I is- I want if- Ford Raptor to come out with a flashlight because that bitch would grip. But that's the only. It, I feel like it would break your cock off if if Apple Good. made it. You could like you could literally just look at it and be like, "Come fuck me," and it would yeah, like but just then you rise up. Nothing at once, and it goes water damage. Go to your local Apple store. <sighs> You're right. How funny would that be? Everybody's here. Do you have an appointment for your new iPhone S7 QRX? Uh, no, I just came in my flashlight again. <laughs> yeah, uh, Apple Care would be a must buy. Apple employees <laughs> are so fucking annoying these days. I'm gonna tell you something. What if your cock was so small you had to get a Mac Mini? You mini flashlight? Me. You lost me. What if you had to get I a only, mini one? I only talk about big dick stuff. Okay. No, I, I, was, I was more so thinking about uh, a- Apple employees. If you don't have an appointment to go to the Apple store, they treat you like a piece of shit there. They literally won't even make eye contact. Hey, bitch, I sold so many goddamn AirPods because of that video I made. You will respect me. Oh, I don't have an appointment? Let me talk to somebody. Dude, they fucking, when I was trying to buy a new phone, they just wrecked me. Do you have an appointment? No. Okay. I was like, well, you can't buy it. You have to buy it online then to pick it up here at store. But I'm like, I'm at the store. Like, Give it sorry. to me. Yeah. But then I, I go, I just, I just, I just want to go, hey, man, look, I, I'll buy it on the phone and I'll pick it up here. But can somebody help me set it up here? I, I get real boomerish when it turns into, because yeah. none of my shit was backed up. And then the guy goes, no, but here's a helpline. Here's a number. The number thing. Who wants to talk to a human or over the phone? 
I need to talk to. Also, I you know what I don't, I don't like about fuck. the whole the whole Apple thing too. Well, they used to be like the genius, the guru. Now they're just like you're a peasant and you smell like Boost Mobile. Get out of here. But I feel like they always act like that. They, I don't they think always they did have before. this weird like I'm above you. I think be, and in I'm the like, beginning you're, days they did. You're a sophomore at a community college. Well, that's you the dumb thing. geek. The problem is they give everybody the title of a genius. Yeah, and you're not me, a genius. Gabe, roll the strobe lights. <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? Flashlight launching the iPad? Well, no. I, don't, I actually, th I read a little bit about this more. I don't think this is real. I think this is a, a conce yeah, concept okay. design. Um, but yeah, this is a, I guess what it would look like if Apple made a flashlight because it's an iPad case Buddy, that you can fuck, I guess. The amount of water resistance that iPad would need for me to not fucking break a pixel would be crazy. Yeah, you need to put plexiglass over it like you're at a buffet. It looks like this Nobody? also has a All car right. mount. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, don't you have VR goggles? Uh, yeah, I do. What are we doing recording a podcast not in the metaverse? I, well, I thought about I was going to bring them, but I actually don't think they work with MacBooks. Yeah, I, think you need a, I think you need a... No, you put, you, aren't there ones you put like an Android in it and you just do it there? Yeah, the one my girl has, you have to hook it up to a PC. What? It's like real deal shit. What do you want? Like PC? Come on. It's got a hand <laughs> controller. Come on, a roll. <laughs> <laughs> PC? A PC. What does that stand for? <laughs> Porn <Penis> content? <laughs> What'd you say? Porn content. That's much better than what I said. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. told you I'm on a roll today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is good. This looks like, uh, you know how scuba divers, when they go underwater, they have to hold on to a little, uh, an engine with a motor on it? Yeah. yeah That's what this looks that. like. Yeah. This is funny because if somebody walks in, you're just two-handing it. You can't even like pretend. But are you two-handing it? Yeah, what, I what think do you mean? Side of the iPad. Well, what they do have this mount to here. a table at Chili's. No, I, <laughs> no, I would put it in the cre <laughs> I would put it in the crease of the couch and give it a fucking business. There's I'm gonna go no hands free way. Bluetooth. I don't no, want to hold you, something, uh, dude. There's grips on the side of that thing. Yeah, yeah, but how big is your? So you're just going like this? Yeah. Oh, that's actually nice. What are you talking about? That's I, exactly what you're doing. I, but I, I need a bigger one. <laughs> bigger what? Cock? No. Well, yes, but. I, I I don't know this. It, I need like you want to do it with a goddamn Samsung flat screen, seventy two inch. Here's the thing, God we just need to get women. <laughs> like this is sad well, at this point. Well, here's point. the thing, we have girlfriends. Yes, and they're nice and lovely. And yesterday was International Women's Day. It was. What did you do for her? She did dishes. What? Hold on. Uh oh. Hold on. You know what was really funny is my girl is really into like sewing clothes. And literally on the National Women's Day, she was like making clothes. And I was like, this is this is the opposite of what everyone wanted. Melissa Esridge would be so mad at you right now. But maybe that's what she wanted. And that's what it's about, Michael. What she wanted. Is it? I don't know. What's the woman's suffrage movement? Why'd you burn your bras? I don't what's happening. You know when women were like, we want to vote, and they just burn their bras? I think those were two different things, maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. Damn, you don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of either of these things. You never heard of women, women like in the 60s burn their bras? Really? Yeah, because they're like, those we are expensive. Here's the funny thing. You know women are like, hey, tits out, burn your bras. Awesome. <laughs> That's how you get a senator's attention. I know. He looks out the window, he's like, oh, there's protesting. Wait, without tit? Oh, shit. Hold on. What bill do I need to sign? <laughs> Dude. All of them. Oh, dude. Why do you think I'm sitting like this? What's a bill? Clinton? He did. You ever think he fucked his saxophone? Because I know do. What, I wanna, what? You ever think? I a think saxophone. He, oh, he played a saxophone. Did he? Yeah. yeah. And he made he that shit a flashlight. these hoes. I want to go into the Oval Office with a black light filter and just see what lights up. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare. The chair? Bazinga. Everything. Looks like somebody broke a lightsaber in that chair. Dude, the olive branches come everywhere. I, the, dude, uh, like I said, I went to D.C. for shows. You were there. Uh huh. The White House needs an average, upgrade. It's average. mid. Dude, it's, it's low-key for a guy who runs the country, bigger. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. But, but, put more amenities. They need to have a Chick-fil-A in there that's open on Sundays. Like, they need... How is the Charlotte airport better than the goddamn White House? They got a Bojangles, and the White House doesn't? I love Bojangles. I'm sorry, I'm making a hard stance here. You ever have Bojangles? No, you ever I'm a gluten-free bitch. You ever have the blueberry muffin that has the fucking cream on top? Or no, the I wish. I, I know what you're talking head. about, I, but I'm gluten-free and I'm very annoyed. You know what's odd? It's like, why does Kevin Garnett have a better house than That's the That's what I'm saying. It's just like, up it, you know? Why isn't Million Dollar Listing going in there and putting, you know, floating toilets and marble countertops in there? Are they, do they have a helipad? But yeah, I want to date a girl with an ass so big that <laughs> she has a helipad. I don't think you do. I don't. You get lost. I don't. I don't like it. I couldn't put my cock. You're in. like, all right, let's do doggy, and then you go cool. 
Let me get out of the Ford Explorer. Yeah, let me do doggy. Let me get another man as well, because there's no way I can fit in there. That's why. That's been, this has been my argument since the top of this podcast. What? The fucking black China's like, look at my ass. I can't do anything with that. I'm going to break my little cock and make an Allen wrench. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I don't. I want to fuck you. I don't want to make an Ikea desk. When was the last time you made a fucking Ikea, a piece of Ikea furniture? Uh, Probably like three or four years ago. I'm telling you, if you do it right, if you do it right the first time, you feel like you're like, oh, I'm a man. Yeah, but, but you fuck up one time, I will throw that bitch out of the third story window and hit a fucking homeless dog. But I, I don't always, care. I never leave the instructions and I get close Whoa. to doing it. You don't look at the instructions. That's crazy. That or is I'll insane, start dude. like, or I'll be like, oh, I got it from here. Wow. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do the first nah. three to get the base, and then I'll be like, oh, yeah, it's just a bunch of, you know, step and repeat, it's step all and repeat. The same stuff. Do yeah, kind of no. it's and not, then you build a desk, not. and then the back side's the front side. I'm just, I don't know. I, uh, yeah. You ever try to build a bed, and you're like, fuck, this is an armoire? Yeah, but half the time, <laughs> it's like, it's still shitty material, so you build it, and you're like, this is... I, people say that. I will say, though, I've had, like, a bunch of Ikea furniture that lasted, like, seven, eight years. Like, just like, so, I mean, if you have to get like the nicer end of Ikea, but if you do, man, you can get some nice stuff. It's hard but, to move it though. Like, if it stays in fast. one place. Break it down. You can't yeah, break yeah, it yeah. down. Yeah. I had you to can't throw away a mobile. bookshelf like a year ago. I spent like three hours building this bookshelf and then I set the whole thing up and realized that the particle board on the inside yeah. was, was actually on the on outside. The outside. And I was Dude, like, there's I no way I'm going to tear thing this thing apart and build it again. the TV stand. And then the guy I was living with at the time was like, Oh, we got to disassemble it and flip it. And I was like, no, let's just get a Sharpie and color in the, the, the cork. That's wild. <laughs> is it? Yeah. yeah. Two guys in their mid-20s? Dude, fuck it. It's a TV stand. Yeah, but in my head, I'm like, we just spent $110 on this, and now we're using a Sharpie? I don't know. I, but I guess that's where my head's on. I'm just like, it is what it is. Do you want to spend more time disassembling it just so when girls come over and be like, wow, that TV shelf is all, all one color? It is, girl being like, why is it cork? <laughs> it is funny. Like, I know you're joking, but I will say that I think like if a girl walks in your place and everything is just like nice, aligned, the furniture's like made right and stuff, like I think that helps get cooter for sure. I think if she walks in and the cork board's off and it's all fuck, like you see the cork, and you know what I mean? There's a crack in the the like coffee table. Yeah. I think it I think cooter I drives say, up. I, I think about my first apartment when I moved to Los Angeles, what it, I can visualize so well in my head. And if I was a girl and I walked in there, yeah. I'd be I'd be dry. Dry. I would be KFC biscuit dry. Yes. Sahara Desert dry. It do, I mean, it's just like my bed was fully on the, you know how you're, I feel like once your bed is in the middle of a room, that's when you're like, oh, I'd be fucking. Yeah. Mine was not. It was not. It was I all remember. the way to the corner. All the way. I had uh, my favorite comedians, their vinyl DVDs. It was like Richard Pryor and all these that went along one wall. I had an Ikea poster of a shot from New York, which was all in black and white. One of the taxes was yellow because Ikea is woke like that. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. Uh, and then I had a vinyl player in my room. And then I had a shoe rack next to my Ikea desk. There was so much going on like that. But it just, I wouldn't walk in there and be like, huh, feng shui. Like, it's very. No. Dude, when I was a freshman in college, I would bang out women with a fucking futon. Huh? The, the futon, I, I could maybe get Don't behind. even start <laughs> with me. A futon? Would it already be laid down when she got there? Or you had to be like, hold on, baby girl. It would be laid down. But can you, it's just like, you know it's a futon. You know what a futon looks like. There's no you headboard. There's it. no footboard. You, you feel, feel that. Yeah. Like you can look, you know, the, the side of the futon where you put your arm when you're sitting, when it's actually a couch. Like you can see both yeah, of those yeah, things. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. very apparent futon. And That's true. The armrest is a head is, is a headboard. Yeah, on a futon. The, yeah, the headboard for like an ant. Like it's a it's the smallest thing yeah. ever. And my my what was uh, your feng shui? What was on the walls? How many snapback hats are we talking? All of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, why why ten? does every guy think that snapback hats are decor? I don't know, but I thought it looked so good. Oh yeah. And I had like a uh uh like what was the po it was like a Playboy poster. What? Yeah, in college, I had a photo of Kate Upton on my wall. So hot. What is that? Like, how are you think you're going to get cooler with Kate Upton on your wall? I don't, but dude, I don't know. You, your girl walks in and you go, hey, you know who looks hotter than you? Her. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I don't know. But I remember the first time I put my bed in the middle, I was like, this is what it must be like to be on The Bachelor. Yeah. I get hoes. Yeah. And, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. helps. It does the feng shui, help. I think it helps 
type than not. Because if, if a girl's already coming home with you, there's already some interest. There's already some sparks flying. But that is a chair on top. Like, oh, he's got his shit together. But when she comes home and your pillow is made out of the box of Monster Energy drink cans, she goes, yeah. well, double up on condies. To, has, has you ever, there's no, has anyone ever been worn two condoms? Definitely. That is, can you imagine being a girl? Watching I, a dude put on two condoms, she's like, "What the hell?" Is what are you my- trying to say about it? Exactly. Or you think maybe my it was made of volcano. Maybe, uh, damn. Maybe it was <laughs> opposite, where she didn't trust him. I was like, "You look, look you got a man bun, and you ride a Harley Davidson." Let me see you put yeah. two of those. You on. rode a Peloton here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> dude, dude. You ever watch porn and the guys wearing a condom? You're like. Who has <laughs> what in this video? Who fucked up? You showed up and just tested positive for because something? Everybody in the adult industry is like, we get tested every two weeks. So what happened there? That's what I'm saying. You ever seen a porn where the condom is fully rolled out and it goes to half his cock? Yeah, that's crazy. My man wearing a Brooklyn beanie right there. <laughs> I, just, I have never done that. Not even tr- like it's I don't know how much is left, but I don't want to see. All the way down? Who are you? Anthony Hardaway? Sad. <laughs> Sad. Well, that's why I don't do porn. That's why I do it, right? Everyone's not like, really? That's why? Yeah, that's why I don't do it. I'm See, nervous. Only reason. Yeah. Um, I will say, though, there's multiple times where I would have sex with a lady when I was a Whoa. freshman with the uh, with the, uh, the old, uh, what the hell is it called? Futon? Futon. Thank you. And I didn't make it right. So it would fall over. I thought I said what? this before. What? It would fall over. What do you mean? Okay, so imagine oh, the the, the, fu- the chalupa part. Dog, imagine the the futon laid out right. Don't they gotta look like chalupas? Up Taco Bell. I can't picture chalupa. when it's folded over. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Maybe I'm, I'm just hungry. Anyway, well, I'm starving. <laughs> God damn. Guys, you already know what the fuck it is. I don't know if we can say fuck, but we just did it. This year, it's time to get off the couch and get in that coochie. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Blue Chew. Guys, we know that confidence can take... Why am I reading this? It's Blue Chew. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a fucking... It's for your dick, all right? It's for your cock. Let me ask you a question. And I always ask you this, Trev. Yeah. Do you like rock hard cocks? Do you like your cock being rock hard? Do you like looking at rock hard cocks? If I'm in the cocks? bedroom, yeah. In public, I don't. Right. Well... I don't know. Here's the thing. (laughs) Here's the thing. This little chewable tablet, it gets your cock. This little lot of mine. Yeah. Cock like the rock. Yeah. He's going to run for president. You going to vote for him? Yeah. Good. Blue Chew. (laughs) (laughs) Blue Chew. Listen, if you need your cock hard, okay. Well, wait, what is it? Let's let's backtrack. What is it? It, Tell them. Look, it's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. But we're not going to talk about those fucking dumb companies. They don't even work. But this one comes in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready for whatever opportunity arises. Speaking of arises, your cock! Cock. The process is simple. You sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? What's the best part? Online. Online. No more awkward visits to CVS or the doctor's office, no awkward conversations in line. Wow, what are you getting? Harder cock. What are you getting? Pretzels. So it's easy for everybody. <laughs> and the best part about all this is it's free. It's free. Hold on. How much money is it? It's free. I will say what? you just got to pay for the shipping because, hey, you know, UPS got to work for some money. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What's do DHL? Do? Dick hugging lips. There you so go. I think <laughs> you can use promo code SOCKS. Yep. Use promo code SOCKS at bluechew.com and you get your first month, first month free. You just pay for shipping. So visit bluechew.com. Use promo code SOCKS, okay? If you need more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this Comcast. God damn. Mr. Wallace. Whoa. Do you like eating clean and feeling as though you have the right vitamins in your body to make you feel more energized day in and day out? No. Well, I like drinking, eating clean, and feeling energized day in and day out. Well, dude, I freaking have the freaking product for you, oh, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? It's called Athletic Greens. What is it? I will tell you, okay? With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day off right. The special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy recovery, focus, and aging, all the things. Dude, in 2022, I promised myself I was going to try to eat more clean and just eat better. 
I eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all goddamn day. That's not giving me the right multivitamins and nutrients that I need. But sounds after so right I have, it sounds so good. But <laughs> after I have one of these in the morning, I'm like, all right, dude, at least I got this the good thing. coat. Yes, dude. You feel like you're starting your day and your body's at least like, all right, we're starting with this. It can only go downhill. You yeah. Know? You're it's, like, that way, if you eat uh, Carl's Jr. at 4 p.m., you're like, what? Did it cancel out? Probably not. But mentally, yeah. mentally it did. I, I'm just a big advocate on just, just give the body what it needs. Yeah. And dude, the thing is, if you just eat food, there's so many blind spots in the nutrients that you need. Because you're like, oh, I had a salad. Oh, I had nuggets. Oh, I had a beef jerky. There's things in there that you're not getting that your body needs. And this fills in the gaps. All right. Tons of people take some kind of multivitamin. It's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. AG1 is a small micro habit with big, big benefits. It's one thing you can do every single day to take care of yourself. It's also gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, paleo, keto, um, all those gems. And on top of that, right what? now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. <coughs> it's just, oh, I thought that was, you're doing ad-libs. I'm doing ad-libs. I thought you were actually sick. Yeah. Get out of this podcast. It's yeah. just one <laughs> scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements that choke you going down. Okay. <coughs> All you got to do. Look, and to make it easy, <laughs> Athletic Greens is going to give you a one year free, free. supply of immune supporting vitamin D, D. and five travel yeah. packs for your first purchase. I bring the travel packs with me uh, on the road almost every weekend. It's incredible. All you have to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash socks. Again, that is athletic greens backslash socks to take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. God damn. But it would, we would, we would have sex oh, in like the middle of bed, but yeah, sometimes yeah. you do a little roly poly because you're getting it in. And if you hit, yeah. like, if you venture two to the, two to the, a panini press, buddy, it will go ho wonk and she would roll off or both. We just, it would, wow. it would embarrass. Uh, you know what's so funny? I wasn't embarrassed. I should have been. But because I was mentally, for your ego, you're like, I fucked so hard it broke the bed. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd have numbing cream on my cock, so I'd be going in. Yeah, numbing cream and a futon. I, I mean, mean who am I? With snapback hat, dude. Sometimes I'd fuck with a hat on. You ever fuck Are you with serious? a hat? Are you serious? Yeah, dude. Shirt on or off? Off. You're fucking lying. Dude, shirt off. You were off. fucking with shirt off, hat on. Shirt that means off. you took the hat off, yep. took the shirt off, put the fucking brim back on. Yes. Like I need to represent the Minnesota Twins while I pipe. <laughs> <laughs> because because the thing is, when I would wear, I would get out of the shower and put a hat on, so I would have like crazy hat hair. So in my head, I'd put it back on, so I looked hot. You know who's fucking doubling up on condoms? That girl. Yes. If you got the fucking fitted out, yep. Double up, dude. I, it, it was it was a nightmare. It was an absolute fucking with a hat on with a John Deere hat on. No way. Backwards. John Deere hat on. For backwards. Real? John Deere Curved? hat on. Back. Curve uh, brim? Curve, yeah. Tongue ring? What's up? With a tongue ring? We're, oh my God. Yeah, we're talking With about- With a tongue ring and two fucking earrings. Are you for real? Boy. Yeah. You I belong weighed, on the Florida Bama shores. <laughs> 100%. The fact that I don't have an STD is crazy. Yeah. How You're in talking the about hell? women doubling up. Yeah, literally. Futon, backwards John Deere yeah. hat, tongue ring. Tongue ring. And <laughs> what color was the car? Orange. Dude. I don't know. Dude. Here's the thing, though. Any girl that banged me back then, I'm like, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. What? You make horrible choices. You picked me? Yeah. What are you saying? What, so, just because so, I dance while I got a big cock, you just pick me? Hold on. What? <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? So let me, <laughs> let me give the rundown. Yep. So you were pulling up to yep. the nightclub. Uh -huh. Orange Toyota Celica. GTS Boy 6 Speed. Wham wham. Uh... Automatic or manual? Manual. I ain't no bitch. Manual. So you got that going. You got yep. the backward John Deere hat. Yep. You got curlyish hair. Curlyish hair. And it all flew like Under, flew yep. underneath oh, the yeah. little flip flop. I can picture this. Yes, you could. Little Puka flip -flop. shell necklace. Puka shell. And Are you for real? Oh, I got I was I, bullshitting. I got the icing on the cake for you. I had blonde tips. Oh, I could have told you that. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to lose your mind. You that. I had that blonde That was under tips. the hat as like the yep. reveal. Yep. Under the hat. Wow. Reveal. Puka shell necklace. What are you, uh, a nightclub promoter for Buffalo Wild Wings? This is an <laughs> insane fit. Yeah. Insane, dude. Jeans. I had boots. I didn't, even wear, I didn't even wear sneakers back then. Boots. I also went to school boots. in South Carolina, so I wouldn't give you stop Yeah, I mean, me. it's. 
I will say this, th this is a different era. This is a different time. You see this guy right now. You see this guy right now. Run. Yeah. But no, back but, then, but, that but was dude, like. But dude, I don't think like if you go, if you go south, like that's what the fits are. Like, yes, yes. It's like, like more like uh, you know, smaller shorts, like white socks, like uh, Jordans or not Jordans, uh, fucking Nikes or whatever. But that, the fit that I was wearing in and around still, it's still there. It's like a Southern sort of like frat boy look. Okay. Where it's like button up shirt, yeah, yeah, jeans, yeah. boots, you know what I mean? Backwards what do you mean John boots? Deere. I don't even know how to explain like them. Tim's? No, no, no. Like um God, I don't even fuck, I don't even know. I, I don't even know what like for a you steel to Google. kind of boot. No. Oh my god. Maybe Uggs? For, Yep. Can you imagine if I told you it was like 100% yes I wore Uggs? Dude, you got into the foot fetish at a great time when the Ugg era was done. You ever yeah. had a girl pop off an UGG with them sweaty little piglets? Yeah. Why don't you wear, like, no one, they're, like, designed to not wear socks. Undesigned them. You walk around in an air fryer. Ew. You literally have a polar bear around your fucking feet. You're going to use have the audacity to take shoes off in your house. How do you feel about people taking your, like, huh, can you take your shoes off? What do you mean? Like, uh, when house? you go into, yeah, a house, an apartment, or whatever. I mean, it's their house. I can't really Ugh, say anything. God. Here's the thing. If I go into your house, you tell me to take your shoes off, you better be spotless everywhere else. You can't have yep. dishes in the sink with shoes off. Yeah, I'm opening. Oh, we're a clean household. No, no, you're not. I'm opening your grill. <laughs> I'm opening your grill, and if you have a fucking barbecue chicken bites in there, no. So let me ask you this. Yes, sir. This whole phase, you know, tongue ring, bleach hair, puka shell necklace. I'll be sucking clits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't I mean, think I'll be sucking clits? I remember when girls. I, were, I never said you didn't. I don't, <laughs> tell me I didn't. You did. I did. So there, there was, dude. I would. I wouldn't even tell girls. I'd just be talking, and they would like see it, and they'd be like, oh, "The tongue ring." Yeah, they'd be like, because you could see it every, every like when I would say like Certain because, words. and they'd be like, "Oh, hold up," and you could see it, and they'd be like, "Do you have a?" And I'd be like, "Do you have a what?" And like, oh, and like I thought it was so tight. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So this is where I'm getting at. At what point did you look in the mirror and be like, "This is not it"? When I moved to New York. Yeah, you go to like, a city and yeah. we're like, and I, and I don't want to use the word, but the the what's the word? the swag? Yeah, you know, fine. it's not like like it's the 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 clean fit isn't that it's it's like formal. You see a dude at a bar in a fucking tuxedo, you're like, what is this guy? You get back from a wedding and you look around and everybody is dressed yeah, like that. Everyone's just like a frat bro. I will say, man, <clears throat> it's a it like the way that I was. It was like a very like. It was like, you know, you kind of like, you have to like, not you have to, but like you mold to your environment, especially that young. Like it was like a Southern, it was like a Southern thing, I think. Right. And like, no, hundred percent. Yeah. And then like, when you go East, you're like, I can't. Oh, dude, what is you're a hundred percent a product of your environment. Dude, yeah. I remember when I joined a frat and I came back to hang out with my hometown friends. The, a bunch of my friends were also in frats, but it'd be like short, short, Sperry's we're in our frat letters and everyone who didn't go to college or whatever the fuck was just like. Cool, dude. Neon green shorts at a Ruby Tuesday. Yeah, that's what we need. Yep. yep. You know, oh, those are high enough where your balls might come out in, in, in July. So <laughs> you just, you, you just, you mold to it. And yeah. then I, I dressed like that frat guy. Then I moved to Los Angeles. I started working at All Def Digital. And I was like, well, I look like a fucking idiot. Yeah. And then I just start wearing normal clothes. Yeah. But the funny thing is, like, you're going to look back at these normal clothes I'm wearing now, and in 15 years, it's going to be a new thing. And you're like, wow. I guess. I feel that? like I dress pretty neutral now, other than the fact that I look like I'm wearing Caprice, you know? But other than that, just like, uh, that, I, I don't know. I like the way I dress. It's very just plain, normal clothes. Yeah. No, I, I'm not hitting. I'm just saying, I think, like, at some point, at some point, you're going to look back, like, when we're all, like, dads and shit, and look back to how we dress. And we're like, that was kind of. That was kind of whatever, or or maybe it's like, oh, that was just like a, the, a that time period. But I look back yeah. at like what I used to wear in like college, even like beginning of like New York, and I was like, what it like what it? I would wear nothing like in New York is nothing but like Jordan ones and like super skinny jeans and like j like o like oversized jackets and shit. It was just like um a lot of it's yeah. weird to go through different <clears throat> your different sizes. Like you might stay the same height and like body. But you go through a skinny t-shirt phase and you start working mm -hmm. out. And then you mm -hmm. go to a baggy t-shirt phase and you go to big hoodies. Then you go to zip-up hoodies. You're kind of, you're always the same body type, but you're like trying different, like, I like oversized tees. No, nah, I want to show off my fucking triceps. Let me get a schmedium. Dude, I remember when I first started stand up, dude, I would wear the tightest shirts. Really? Oh my God. Like, like straight, like, what are you doing tight? Like, like Matt Reif type beat? 
tighter, dude. I'm not shitting you. Like skin tight, V neck, white, like undershirts, essentially. With like, but did, what, what were you, did you show people you had muscles or? It was just sort of like, like, bitch. If you don't laugh, just realize I got a bicep vein. Yeah, but but it would it was such a hindrance to a have word. like, huh? Big word. Hindrance. Never mind. <laughs> what is that? Three Distraction. Syllables. Hindrance. Yeah. Spell it. Yeah. Right. All I heard was ranch. This is the boots that I imagine you wear. <laughs> oh my god, the North Face Gucci boot. Those honestly, aren't real. I would those rock are those. Kind of hard. Those are hard. <laughs> I would rock those right now, dude. If I worked on the public transit in New York and a guy came on wearing those, and I was like, "Excuse me, do you have your 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 what is it ticket? Huh? What ticket card? Subway pass? What are they called? Swipes? Swipes? You got a swipe? Yeah, swipe. And I saw a dude wearing that. I'd be like, "Yeah, you're good. You're good. I'm going to New York very soon, and I'm still not going to take the subway. Subway terrifies me." Nah, it's so fun. Yeah, I had fun, fun. last time we were in New York. What do you mean fun? It school. is fun. Yeah. How? You like have you make to... eye contact with people who are looking at you and their nips are out? That's exactly <laughs> yeah. how you do it. How do you feel about free the nip? All, we're talking about this on National Women's Day. How do you feel about free the nip? Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. I'm okay with it. There's, I, I think that's one of the first times where we were like, hold on, wait, what? Oh, yeah. All right. Who the hell is against free the nip? <laughs> Some fucking dad Victoria in Vermont. Secret. Victoria's Secret, that too. They're like, we need to sell more bras. At what point do you go wear, wear a bra? Most of the time, not. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Which is so interesting. You yeah, just hit you it. know why? Because our girls like, got good tits. <laughs> well, I think, the one, I, I feel like they hurt or they're not comfortable. And two, you're just like, man, I'll do what the fuck I want. Yeah, I mean, if you got big knock knocks, <laughs> <laughs> big knock knock. If you got big knock knock, imagine if you went to Victoria's Secret and you're like, "Hey, I'm shopping for my girlfriend." It's like, what size does she go? Yeah, I think she's like, she got big knock knocks. <laughs> like, sir, I don't know if you have a girlfriend. I think you get arrested. Big knock knocks. You know, you get arrested. You get like, there's like a mall jail. I've heard that. The Disneyland is a jail. Disney jail. That's where they like, throw the drunk people. Disney Hilarious. jail. Hilarious. Disney jail. Dude, if you ever, if you get arrested by Mickey Mouse, guard? your Pull life out. is in shambles. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what is Disney More? jail? I would love to know what Disney jail looked like. It probably like, I picture with those giant like, uh, like poles that you can easily like walk out of. Every jail in the, in the early days, the 1900s, they're like trying to get, the dog always had the key and like, come here, boy. Yeah. And how does the guy have a steak? In jail. <laughs> you know, he's always, come on, Also, come the on. key is massive and the dog's like, I'll just hold on to this as a toy. It's so big. Where Does it are need the to be workers? No. Oh, they're always asleep. Yeah. And Everyone you can in jail walk is right tired. It. Everyone. Jail food's awful. I mean, obviously, they're not going to have Chick fil A in there. <laughs> they should. I'm starving. What the hell's happening? Lunchtime. You're it's right. It's literally lunchtime. That's what always happens. Every time we start recording, it's noon, and then we blast through lines. We go, why am I hungry? I am, I am literally starving. Worst food on the planet. Go. My dog's shit. Have you ever eaten dog food? No. One time we dared our, uh, my dad to do it, and he did it for like a dollar. I could definitely see it. Your, your dad keep, keeps chicken wings in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> chicken tenders, my might bad, I add. My bad. Chicken tenders, might I add. Um, I'll be honest, dude. Sometimes I, I look at cat food commercials, and they open that shit with a can. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> You're out of your mind. That, that looks you, so good. Do you eat canned tuna? Yeah. Not really? consistently, but I will, for sure. You don't like it? And I think it's fine. I think there's better out there. Of course there's better out there. <laughs> you ever have canned salmon? No. Yeah, I haven't either. I'm just asking. I feel like you have. Have you ever had spam? Recently, yeah. Really? In Hawaii. Is it good? It's fine. What is What'd it? What'd you eat it with? Uh, is it out of the can? Rice. Okay. But like, what, what is spam? The thing is, it's, it's is like, it like a bologna type beat. It's a whole lot going on. Bologna's fucking insanely but good. But what's bologna? Just a, a dream come true. Just bologna is just like dog grundle? Like bologna what is, is just kind of like, uh, you ever gotten a mystery airhead? Yes, I love those. It's kind of like that. It's get, meat, question mark. You ever get a mystery airhead and you're like, this is not a flavor? Yeah. This or is not it's, a flavor. it's usually blue right. raspberry. Oh, you're but right. But one time I got one as, as lemon, I was like, bitch, you were just getting rid of the flavors you weren't selling. Lemon is, I actually love lemon, but lemon that airheads so are much trash you. buckets. You yeah. don't like lemon? You don't like, like lemon cake? Nah. Boy, huh? Lemon better. desserts are trash. What did you say to me, Gabe? Lemon desserts, trash. Lemon desserts, lemon candy. The audacity. Candy. Lemon candy's good. No, it's not. No, lemon candy's no, trash. It's not. Lemon cake? 
with that white frosting that's definitely come is incredible. You're telling me that's better than like a double Dutch chocolate yep, cake? Yeah, it is. How? I'll tell you. Give it's me, better. I don't want to eat a cake and be like, oh, it's sour. What, I just eat some raw cooter? It's not sour. You ever go down to a girl, you're like, take a <laughs> shower. But, okay, this is a little weird. But is there a little bit where you're like, oh, God, that smells like cooter. I kind of like it. No. You don't? Zero percent of me. Yeah. But there's something about it where you're like. (laughs) No, let me tell you something. Spicy. (laughs) Yeah. But a little. But but, but, it reminds you that it's cooter and that it's a human being and it can be. I hear what you're saying. But you know how when you're at like a Thai restaurant and you're ordering and the lady goes, do you want medium spice or hot? And you go, medium, medium spice. Medium spice cooter, fine. But you ever get that extra spicy cooter? Okay, right. We're talking. We're talking. You go, goddamn. Your pH balance is off. No, that that level I've definitely encountered. We're not with my girlfriend because she's perfect and listens to this podcast. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, your she, girl doesn't she, smell at all, dude. She has great hygiene. <laughs> no, she, no, she, for real. She'll get back from the gym. I'm like, how do you not smell? Right. I don't get it. But I will say, I'm sorry to interrupt you right now, but I will say after the gym, when a girl's like sweating and shit, my girl be like, I'm trying to beat. And my girl's like, come on, I sweaty. I'm like, I want to beat more. Yeah, I'm saying that's way. what I'm saying. I kind of like I'm the saying. smell of my girl's BO a little bit. But that's that's where I'm going with what, what Gabe was saying. When a cooter smells like a cooter, there's a fine line where you're like, hold up, hold up. But when it's oh. too, yeah, too much, you're like, okay, I, yeah, you know, unless I've COVID. Your pussy tastes like a fucking Taco Bell sa- sauce. Hold on, you were finding it. I was, I, I, I had it. You know what's funny is when you have it in your brain, you go, "This is gonna be fire," and I can't get it out of my fucking face. Gabe, yeah, cut yeah, it. Yeah. Gabe, <laughs> leave it in. Can we really but, get but back? You know to what I'm this? talking about. I There's do. a little bit of that. There's a fine line where it smells a little too pungent. You're but like two like, percent. Like I just like. I, for me, I think I just grew up around athletics and I, and like, so when my girl's like has sweaty hair and she just like looks a little like she just like, just like come from the gym look really just fucking does something to me. Take your fucking stupid. What are those pants? Those yoga fucking pants? yoga pants. What are they? Are they called yoga pants? Mm-hmm. Really? They're not called something else? Leggings. That's what I'm talking about. Take your leggings off. Also, the person who fucking labeled them leggings, lazy. What are those? <laughs> Bro, those are on your leg leggings. Dumb. Everything's lazy. A box. What is it? A box. You know what what a- shape is it? A box. What is it called? A box. Cooter's box. When the hell did that happen? I don't know. Oh, I fucked a box. Roddy it's not Rich. a box. That's yeah. a kitty cat. But I'm saying. Okay. Dude, you, you never like, you, let's say you've been out. You guys are on vacation. Y'all yep. doing a lot of walking around. Roller skating. Well, shitty vacation, but <laughs> but you get back and you're like, oh, she's like, oh, I don't know how I smell down there. And you're yeah. like, well, I don't give a god <laughs> damn because what? it's the attraction to that person. You're like, man, I don't give a fuck. But I hear you, and I'm down with you. But I will say, I'm gonna get back to the fact that Gabe said he's into BO. We're gonna get back to that, Gabe. Don't even worry. Um, I will say though, there's a there's a level where like it, when you smell, you smell a little. Cool. You smell like me, m- like a, even medium smell. I'm like, I, it's, it's, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Really? But you're into medium I smell? It. I don't mind it. Cause it reminds me that I'm like, oh, wait, fucking, you can smell the cooter. That's like animalistic shit. I, I, dude, I don't know. It's fucking. That's why you like to fuck outside. Yeah. You want to be closer to nature. Open the screen door. Let me out. <laughs> the screen door. The, that's also a lazy thing. What is that? That's a door. Screen door. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> Everything is lazy. Hey, hey. Everything is lazy. You know what's not lazy? A steering wheel. What is it? A wheel that you steer with. Well, there we go. What is that? Car. Where did that come from? <laughs> vehicle? How do you go from vehicle to car? Also, real quick. Automobile? You know what? Beal? They could have called it a beal. I will say this real quick. I will say this. Catfish? I mean, you got to name it better. Well, no, because catfish, the fish cat. is ugly. Huh? Because the catfish... That you eat are ugly. No, but what I'm saying is, how the fuck do they name the fish a catfish? Because it has whiskers. That's how they named it? Yes. yes. Tiger shark? What's that? A fish that has stripes. <laughs> but what came first? The tiger or the fucking tiger shark? Right, I also don't the think that catfish, <laughs> like using catfish as like, I got catfish. I don't think that's because a catfish is ugly. Oh, really? why? I what think it's it? just because do catfish, catfish is like, meat? oh, I'm, a f- I'm actually a fish, but I'm trying to look like a cat. No. Or is it a or is it a cat trying to be a fish? Is Whoa. that why cat likes fish? Why do cats like fish? They don't. Cats up. love fish. Yeah, but fishes are in the fucking water. They hate water. That's a conundrum. 
That's life God right there. Damn. The best shit is in the ocean, but you can't go in the ocean. Because you're scared of it. That's what you should do. You high should... risk, high reward. Yes. But what? fish like salmon. Yeah, but fish can't. Uh, cats like fish. But but you cut it out and you give it to them. Like, oh, yeah. I know, but they can't get it. That's the point. That's fucked up. Petco. Promo code socks. Hold up. Don't Are use we that. we sponsored them? Nope. <laughs> we should be. What is the definition of catfish? Uh, I'm trying to find it. I just know it came from 2010 in the documentary Catfish. Is it from the show? Nev, what it was Nev, his name? Nev Sneebly. Campbell? He did a movie first, a Nev documentary. Sne- Nev Sneebly? Yeah, that guy sucks. Why did he? Oh, he sucks? Yeah. Why does he suck? Uh, he was a dick to me one time, so. Oh, Whoa! shit. What happened? Oh, Nev Campbell was a dick to you? Were you hotter than he thought you were going to be on the call sheet? Get it, Catfish. There we go. I get it. Uh, no, he he came to our first studio. Yeah. You remember? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came over there one time to be a guest on a podcast, and uh, I'm in the room, like, engineering the, the episode. And uh, he he walks in and I'm like, hey, what's going on, man? I'm Gabe. And he says, hey. And then he looks at the guy that's hosting the show and he says, why are you recording here? You said what? Why are you recording here? Come, like, come, let's record somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. This is a little disrespectful. Little disrespectful. Yeah. Like, when people do that, I literally, if I ever meet him, I'm going to fight him. Like, I just don't like, what, what do you, what, you, you ain't shit. You have one MTV show, you fucking piece of shit. I mean, the show shit. is massive. It's a huge Oh, show. it's so big. Uh, whatever. He's, he's got to be bagged out. He is that. bagged out. But the problem is, it doesn't matter how much money he has, he's still ugly as fuck. High ego. No reason. High ego. Yeah. You look like, the reason he called it catfish is because he was a catfish. Every single time he sits down with a girl, he's like, hello, I'm ugly. And she goes, well, your <laughs> pictures were better. I don't like this guy. This short fucking idiot. <laughs> this idiot with an is IQ. Is he short? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, disrespect well, the game. So wait, where, where did he get the name Catfish? Yeah, true. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, it says, it Let's says he looked podcast. at a picture of his high school. Gabe, here's what we do. We get him on the podcast, and then we're like 30 minutes in, so he feels comfortable with us. And then we go, how do you feel about disrespecting podcast producers? And he's like, I think that's fucked up. And then I go, run the clip. And you, mm. I don't have the kit clip. <laughs> and I go, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, run the clip. I don't like, man. I just don't like when people are disrespectful to smaller roles. Yeah, also, I don't like when motherfuckers are disrespectful on a level. I don't like when people are disrespectful at all. I just don't like when people think they're like too big for their britches. That hey, happens in every industry. Nev Whoever's the, the lead in front of Frozen on Ice, they're fucking disrespecting Wendy's employees. Yeah, all like f- Frozen on Ice, bro. You're a fucking snowman. But but I will say I've been that before and I, and I don't like when I do that. But there has been times when I've been like tired or my ego gets in the way and I'm just like, what am I doing? I don't feel I don't want to be that guy, but sometimes you just you say a thing. You're like, where did that come from? Yeah, but I don't think Nev, whatever the hell his name is, thinks back to it. No, I think he's an evil person, and I don't like him. Okay, I'd I, I was just saying that to clear my own air in case I've ever been rude to somebody accidentally. Listen, dude, I have I have 100 been rude to someone, um, and I try to be very very hyper self aware in those situations but there's been times where i'm just having a fucking day and i'm like slightly rude to like a rite aid employee and i'm not it's not like i'm looking down at them i'm just like fucking angry Mm -hmm. um but but yeah just like uh, you know what nev campbell what's his name uh nev shulman nev shulman get him on the pod get him on the pod Well, realistically like he didn't wasn't saying anything about you need to get a new producer he's just saying like i have a better studio let's go record it there and what show is it on uh, I don't know if I'm should say it. I Move it on. God damn. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. BetterHelp. What is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Tell them. BetterHelp is an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. All right. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy buddy listen we are a big proponent of therapy both of us use it and we absolutely love it we always want to find the light in between the forest or however that goes and both of us have felt just incredible after we chose therapy and this better help is an amazing tool that you can use to have therapy as well if you want to find happiness i highly recommend doing therapy i highly recommend doing better help whether it's hitting the gym making time for your haircut or even trying therapy you are your greatest asset so invest the time and effort into yourself like you do for other people. So this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Stiff Socks listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash socks. That is betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash socks. Dude, go get 10% off your first month. Go get happiness. BetterHelp. Boom, boom, boom. 
Goddamn. Bop, 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 bop. Thanks to Lumi for sponsoring this episode. Lumi Gummies believe in microdosing, safe use of psychedelics, and providing a solution for people interested in microdosing THC for general wellness and performance enhancing purposes. Dude, I do think that the THC can help enhance a lot of things. One of which, coming jerking off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two of which, huh. beating me. No, I. Uh, <laughs> I think I like to, what for me personally, I like THC because I feel like I'm having a conversation with myself <laughs> and I can never really bounce ideas off if I'm just sitting there trying to write and I'm like, God, what's funny, this and that. But if I smoke a little bit, I'm like, ta- I'm like, like, I'm like, I can bounce ideas off myself and I can like, I'm more in the brain, but in a good way. Dude, I've watched my own videos off the THC and I'm uh-huh. like, oh, this is funny. I get it now. Yeah. A lot of times I hit upload and be like, I hope it's funny, but I'll be off the weed being like, Oh god damn. Cause yeah, it makes you it literally puts it you puts in a different of, mind. Yeah. Yeah, it puts yeah, yeah. it's not me anymore. Now I'm just a viewer. Lumi makes what they call strain specific THC gummies. The gummies are organic. They are organic. Infused with real fruit. Real fruit. Vegan friendly. Vegan friendly. Gluten free. Me. And- <laughs> And made with lots of love. They are also not your typical CBD. Jesus Christ. They're also not your typical CBD hemp gummies. Fundamentally, what makes Lumi gummies unique is that they contain more THC than other hemp gummies, but less than the maximum allowed by federal law. They taste amazing, dude. They got like the Indica Granddaddy Sour OG strain. Okay, Granddaddy. Tastes good. Really can't stop eating those. Those are heaters. Each gummy contains about 10 milligrams of THC, cannabinoids, and terpenes. Yeah, you got it. Terpenes, I think it's... To deliver true-to-strain effects. Six different strains, baby. Check it out. Uh, that's uh, enough. I don't actually list this. Yeah, that's I think enough, that's right? fine. I would just... Can you finish that off with that? And they, and they even have six different strains. Anyways, uh, this stuff is great, man. I think it's a nice little way to What about if you're trying to get a straight lady, dude? Dude, if you're trying to get a straight lady... <laughs> F off, dude, because these are trying to get that straight vibed out, dude. Yeah. This is where, like, you won't be too hot, but you'll feel nice. I don't even know. You'll just, you you can still, like, you could see your cat and understand what he's thinking, but you can't hear him talking. You know what I'm saying? I do understand. You ever been so high, you're like, oh, I'm a puddle? I'm a puddle. No. Nope. Put a coat over me because there's a woman walking. I'm a puddle. These will not get you like that. They'll get you the nice, clean, Zen lovely, high. chilled out. Yeah, Zen I think it's a good chill, nightcap. Dude. You know, a lot of people have Merlot. You got Lumi. I so, love it. The best part is they shipped all 50 states. Just visit Lumi Gummies. That's Lumi, L-U-M-I, I. Gummies, G-U-M-M-I-E-S, I. dot com. And use code SOCKS to get free shipping and Whoa. 30% off your first order. That's LumiGummies.com, promo code SOCKS. Links can be found in the show description, but also LumiGummies.com, promo code SOCKS. 30% off, Socks. free shipping, first order. God damn. I found a quote, but this actually makes the catfish thing make less sense. Oh, okay. Catfish originated from a metaphor. When live codfish are shipped in vats from Alaska to China... They were paired with catfish to keep them active and thus maintain the quality of the fish. You lost well, me. Well, no, well, that Is makes that sense. like when you find an onion ring with your french fries? <laughs> There's like one catfish in the group, and they're like, I think what that the does hell? make sense because all the cod are like, hey, you guys are cod too. And you're like, well, yeah, me, yeah, hey. And that's what it and is. And we made that sexual? Huh? And we made that sexual? Well, no, it's just, it's not sexual to be a catfish. It's just like, it's just yeah, like, it hey, hey, you. We thought you were something, and now you sat down and you're How not. How do catfish feel about this? Do they know that they're the butt end of every joke? Do you think they're in the sea and they're like, ah, fucking catfish? Like, oh, come on, man. I got a big dick. <laughs> I think catfish are mean, actually, in real life. Like, they're like dumb actual as hell. hell. They are? I think when you catch them, they make like a oh, noise. Or is that carp? Fishing freaks me out. You ever been fishing? Yeah. yeah I hate it. I you went deep sea fishing, and it's like fucking, they bring it up on the boat, and then they hit, hit it with a I, bat. I That's can't. when I knew I wasn't a man. man. When you told me that story before, I like lost Dude, my Dude, it's mind. like, it's, yeah, you know. You ever seen that video that I brought up a hundred times, but we've never brought up the clip about a guy getting his dick sucked <laughs> by a bat? <laughs> I swear to God, it exists because I jerked off to it, and I know no, it that it's here and we, I, every single time. I hate the thought of that. Well, yeah, it's not great. But what is... What is the best thing? You're like, <laughs> God damn, this worm is little as shit. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's got to do that and then go back to his school. School fish. We got it. You know what I mean? He sucks Jethro's dick and has to go back to fucking. He's like, what happened, Tim? I don't know. I think I'm going vegan. <laughs> 
Meat, meat, cock, cock, meat. What? Oh, meat, cock, yeah. Yeah, meat. When did cock become meat? Let meat me tell you meat. something. My shit a half a pound. You if you went it? to a deli and you were trying to get the same weight as your Coleslaw. cock. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> How much does my dick weigh? Yeah, but you know what I mean. You Hard, know? soft. All right. <clears throat> if you, how many people do you think you could feed with the meat of your dick? Half. Half of what? Person. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, if I put my erect dong yeah. on a Hawaiian roll, that's one meat. That's not even a meal. That's like a, you go, okay, is there chips with this? Potato salad? Yeah, I need pasta salad. <laughs> I need something more filling. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. depends if they eat beforehand. Also, fuck all this. <laughs> fuck all this right to heck. Don't you love when heck people curse? It. When people curse and then they say heck, you're like, you already cursed. Just say fuck. You, we were on the little T O U R together. Tour dates, tour dates, tour dates, tour dates, which we have to uh, promote. You said you want to tell everyone how you wipe I've after wiped, you take a poop. I wipe the normal way. What are you no, talking about? You don't. I don't know what you're talking about. First of all, this starts with uh, John, the cameraman, uh, fantastic editor as well. What if well. that was his last name? His real last name. It is. It's cameraman. all one word. But he said he stands up. Which stands is. Stands up. Okay. Where are you at? Sit down? Sit down. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, sit, so we're on the same page here. Sit down. This sit dude, down. let's just break down John real quick. He literally says that he takes a poop, that he, st- like, not a, not a half stand, like a full stand, gets toilet paper and wipes. I used to do that growing up. I, I used would to do be a stand. Too, yeah. I, did, I was a stand up yeah. guy, but it was weird because you you feel like I don't know how you guys did it, but I would stand up and then spread a cheek and get in there. I'm just like the view from behind. If anybody's watching through, yeah. uh, my mother's window is weird. Yeah, but here's the thing, dude. Yes, yes, you. We all would stand, but then we learned our colors and then we stopped standing. And then what happened with your trajectory of wiping, I Mr. Normal. Wallace? I wipe side to side. What are you guys talking about? You don't wipe side to side. Which side do you wipe from? How do you wipe? I wipe like a normal human. Which is what? I wipe. I'm, I sit down. You, first of all, what do you do with the toilet paper roll? What what do you how, how, do you wrap, how do you present it? Do you do a ball or do you fold it up? Snowball. Snowball? I'm not making origami. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You, you ball it up? I hold on. Uh, yeah. Should we get a piece of toilet paper? Yeah. Yes. We, gotta, <laughs> we have money now. Let's get some double uh, ply. To me, the 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 balling it balling up. Balling up is crazy. You're asking, yeah. like, what do you not respect me? Yeah. The ball, and it's also there's no like clean. There's no yeah. You don't have a clean side to Show go. Show me out. what you do. I'll be the toilet paper I, roll. Listen. Show me what you do. I'm you the. You know toilet- what I love? You know what I love right now? What you're trying to do? You're trying to make me <laughs> like do a you weirdo. Snowball because- your at- here. I'm the toilet paper roll. All right, toilet paper in there. All right. I'm, why? This is actually this is great. So I'm like this. I actually take way too much. I'm not gonna lie. I take literally, per, I take per, literally about this much, and I do this. What? And it's, oh it's, my god, it's, that's so what? fucking crazy. It's, what it's, are you getting <laughs> to a? What are you doing? It's are you about a, to throw these at cars yeah, passing by? It's like this, right? And then I just and I hold, I hold a thing, yep, and I wrong, do a little, wrong, wrong. just a little tip, just a little tip to the left, right? uh-huh. and I do a big. Then I do like it. Honestly, I think I wipe a little too hard, and I do whoop. Well, yeah, because you got the and then I drop in there, and then I do the same thing, and I always do it three times. Well, and the third only three, that's such what, a waste what, of toilet paper. First of all, yeah, hundred percent. What do you say? I agree only three. I do what if it's not done yet. Well, I go till there's nothing left on the toilet paper. Well, of same. course, but I do so much toilet paper that I essentially just but get it, it all out, and I wipe. Sorry, I, wait, wait, so I you, wipe too hard. Sometimes I get a little blood. What? I didn't go to the doctor. <laughs> Okay, so all, all this is weird. So, so all so, this is weird. Okay, because I don't do that. All this is weird. Here. I can't wait Here, until this. you tell. No, hold no, no, this. no, no. I, I can't wait until you tell the community how you <laughs> wipe. Because hey, what do you do? Is that similar to that? No, not at all. Well, except kind of, except for the <clears throat> fucking balling, the balling it up. Balls disrespectful. I'll like pull off a, a strip of it okay. and then fold it over itself like yep, three there times. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's what I do. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold this. Hold oh, this. Hold okay, this. Okay. So, hold this. So this is how people right, so, who don't have foot fetishes wipe their ass. Okay. You go here. Yep. Break it off. Right. Then you kind of fold it up. Like maybe like just till you got like this. What are this. you? You're yeah. making a fucking duvet? Because you don't want no, to I be respect thin, my asshole. You know? Because now you're that here. That looks really nice. It looks like a napkin at a fucking barbecue. Uh, yeah. No. That's what I'm shitting out. This barbecue. So you go under. And this is where the internet's going to hate me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do, dude? I go. I, here, oh here's the my thing. God. I go front. Here's the thing. This thing, it makes more sense. There's so much more space in the toilet oh bowl. Oh my god! Stop with all your fucking hoo ha. Put a fucking foot in your mouth. Shut up. Here's the thing. There's space in the bowl for your hand. Okay. You gotta lean forward like you're okay. looking for the remote control. Right. Here's what I do. I 
I go, I go in, and then I lift up my sack. I lift up my sack and my cock, and I pull it left, and I go in, and I go in right here, and then I go this. He goes back to front. But I know what you're saying. Oh, there's shit on his balls. No, it's not even in the picture. I lift him out. If I didn't fucking move Dude, my sack, it'd be it insane to be so like a car picture. going through a car wash. But I lift it up. I'll yeah. show you my asshole right now. Yeah. I yeah. lift it up. Yeah. I come here. This is crazy. I come here. <laughs> you need two hands to wipe? Yes. What are, what are you doing with your left hand when you're taking a shit and wiping? I'm on the phone. What? Yeah. Dude, this seems so weird because you're, you got to get in. Now your hand's rubbing against the bowl. <clears throat> no, Why do you think that there's all this space in front of your cock in the toilet bowl? It's so you can get in there. Dude, you're, what, you're taking fecal matter and you're wiping it towards your Johnson. What but I go till it's clean. You created COVID. I am COVID. Okay. Demonetized. No, but I, but here, how is that? The fact that you how had, is that? The fact that you haven't died from influenza is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the the dirty. You're talking about you like your woman have a little scent. No shit, because your shit smells like a New Jersey turnpike. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, because I go until it's clean, and I'll use some it's, wet you wipes. Can't to really get you can't go until clean because you, you have fecal matter wrapped around your sack. Manscaped, no, the, the you sack, need a dump truck. The sack is up, and I'm going out. There's nothing coming out. You're, you, there's a fecal. What, what's the difference between that and yours? Yours is just I'm taking, shit on his I'm lower taking back. the shit. Huh? He gets shit on his lower back. Yeah, I'd rather have shit on my lower back than my sack. But what, it, what is the, the, the difference? I, why would you go? I know backside is like, it seems normal, but you're going, you can't. You can't see how much is left on the paper. Or do you wipe from back and then pull it up and look at and it then and then drop it, it in? Yeah. yeah. You fucking alley-ooping yourself every time you shit? Every single yeah. time. Well, I don't This is a waste of time. This. Boom, watch I this, go, watch this. I go like, I go, I wipe, and then I go you like- You gotta oh. lean over? Yeah. yeah. You got a bitch move? <laughs> what kind of bitch move? You're, you're well, groping I'm fingering, your I'm fingering sack. my ass. No, look at this. It's, it's you have a, more, you're it's doing fluid. It two-handed. Yeah, because I care about my body. Dude, you don't care about your body. You're moving your sack to the left. You pee out of the pee hole in your boxers. I don't want to hear <laughs> That's it. That's true. But you're, look, don't you gotta, but dude, you got to bring it up. You're risking getting it on your shirt, too. Right here, it's all one motion. There's, It's just... On my shirt? I'd much rather have it on my Nike hoodie than my sack. It's not on the sack. You lift the sack up from the base, and then you come in here. There's no way that your girlfriend actually can smell at the level of a human. Well, she wears a, 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 a chip 100%. clip on her nose, but yeah. I think if I had a vagina, which, hell, I then it wouldn't make sense because it leans right in. But yeah. this, it's, I'm lifting everything up. It's the it's same thing. It's just gooch exposed, but it's, you're not getting gooch. Yeah, but you're getting it on the gooch. No, you're not. Sir, you think because you can't Give see it, it doesn't exist? Give me a GoPro. It's, there's so much, if you did a wet wipe, all right. I, I baseline wet wipe just to start, just to get all the whatever's out there. Oh, well, this is new information that you conveniently left out. You go wet wipe? If I have the chance. You know, Your asshole likes it. You know what's wild? It's like a, uh, when you go wet wipe first. I wet, think it's wet. insane. Why? Because there's so much poop. I think you go dry, cup of dry first, and then you go wet. Well, I like doing the wet one first because then it just, it kind of like. It's like you know it, what I mean? There's so much shit in there. Like there's, there's, uh, you know what I mean? Like with the wet no, wipe. I, I have clean shits and I have clean wipes. I don't you know don't have clean No, shit. but here's the thing. You do one wet because it's like, if you have a paper towel and you wipe it on the counter, you get some crumbs. But if you get a wet ass paper towel, it's collecting everything on the way. So with the <clears> wet wipe at first, it feels like. You're doing a good job, then you dry to just pat it down. If you end but with this the wet, is, that's crazy because then but, you just got a wet ass. But this is what it feels like to me. It's like if there's uh, like pudding on the counter, you want to use a dry paper towel, not a wet one. You feel like you're doing wet on wet. But if you go dry for like two dry paper yeah, towels but, on but, pudding, but dry, and then you're just spreading it then. No, no, no. You, I think you can get more with the dry. Think about pudding. And then you think the dry, it like absorbs it a little bit, right? You go too absorbed. And then there's going to be little particles. Then you go wet. No, because wet gets everything because it's not leaving because if you do dry it's smearing the pudding wet kind of guides it along on the way out yeah, but i think you go wet wet you don't get wet wet you Hold don't up. you don't get a uh, yeah you don't you don't it doesn't absorb as much as i guess is what let's I'm talk saying. to gabe on this what, who's in the right who's in the wrong uh trevor i'm sorry i think this is weird yeah why i well i just Buddy, you're going two hands you octopus wiping fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's i think where the visualization really got because at first i was like Okay, yeah, through the through the toilet bowl, that does make sense. Some Rather, because I do the lean over too. I yeah, like, I can get that. But when it like, 
back to front is such a fundamental no-no of, yeah. of wiping the ass. Sure, I get that if you have a vagina, but right now it's not getting in anything. Yeah. It's but it's going in the direction of your family jewels. And whoever invented family jewels. Sure, but I go until it's until what though? Because the thing is, fecal matter, you can't always see it. There's like particles down there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. What's up, dude? I don't think. Well, I don't know. Look, look, we all do. I don't, things, I don't know why I do it. We all do things differently. And it's okay. Difference is what makes the world go around. You're mm. wrong and you're doing <laughs> it wrong, but I do everything wrong. Literally everything. Things that belong on the ground. Why would you go like this when you have all this space? Because my cock is there. <laughs> Literally, no, the because my cock is there. Well, because you, my cock is there. Well, when you get head, you tuck your balls between your legs, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. We're on the same page now. <laughs> Can you imagine? I've watched porns like that. Those, those ones that, like, are they called milking? Just dick is wild. What's yeah, milking? Dick? I'm saying, like, if your balls aren't presented, like, if you're getting topped off through your boxers and it's just dong out, I've it's done weird. that. And it's, it is a little weird. It's I like get, a little Pokemon. I get, dude. I get great sensation when I have my pants not all the way down. My pants are like, like, uh, like testicle level. Because yeah. then I get like a, a kind of a cool sensation because the like my uh my jeans, the tip of my jeans are like pushing my balls as well as I'm getting head. So it's like weird. It's just kind of like double there's sensation. Whole, there's a whole thing guys do for that. They fucking all, they'll put like a like yeah, a hair that? tie on their on their balls, like all the way sort of up their balls to like the base of their shaft. Is that? But is that I for sensation? I think I think actually that's to stay hard. Oh really? really? I don't know. That's what, every time I see that, that's what I think yeah, of. Yeah, but usually when you're rocked up, your balls are fucking sucked up in there. Not, I hear you, but not all the time. The balls aren't completely all the time, su like super sucked in there. Like it's like freezing sometimes. Definitely sometimes. But yeah, sometimes you have a clap session where the balls are just really in the yeah. motion of the ocean. Sometimes when I do that, I'm like, how? Why is this not hurting? My girl likes when my shit claps, slaps. Your girl don't like that? I don't Your know, girl's I, too busy she's smelling never, a fucking jersey turnpike. <laughs> she's never once complained about my smell. I'll get her on the podcast now. <laughs> she's at work. Does my cock smell? Dude, I guarantee you, if I, put, if I cut curious. open a tangerine and said, excuse me, Travis' girlfriend, what does it smell like? She's going to say, oh, this is, uh, I can't think anything. You're but you bombing. know what I mean? Yeah. How does it feel to bomb on your own podcast? It Anyways. feels great. I've done it a plenty of times. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. You know, here's the thing. 94% of the people listening to this are going to yell at me, but you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Yeah. But the 6% are going to be like, Trevor, I get it. That's what the hole in the bowl is for. Uh -uh. You think 6%? I think that's way high. I think there's going to be 1% no. of people. I think it's going to be a little more than that. But I also think that it's going to be very meaningful to those people who have been sort of living alone without any representation for this long. And you but just here's gave the thing. them. Yeah. I was taught to wipe. I don't even know how. I don't yeah. know if I ever was. You, you just taught. figure it out. Yeah. There's, they're not in school being like, this is how you wipe your ass. They yeah, should have been. But your parents should have taught you. I mean, your your mom's like a, a chef. Your dad's a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, they tell me how to fold the paper. I don't. But yeah, the fold but, the paper. But, but I used I'm to wrong up, in that up, up until like middle school. I think I would stand up to do it. Yeah, I think you. I think you have to stand up. But I I did standing up, and then for whatever reason, one day I was like, what do I do this this shit sitting? The sitting thing is fine. It's just like to your balls is just a little. Uh, it's yeah, just... but the balls aren't even in the picture. The, yeah, the but... sack is up. And t Can I pull my cock out? <laughs> <laughs> picture. It. All right, sack hanging. I'm Go. pulling it up, right? Pulling everything right. up to the left, and then I'm and then I'm and then I'm. Yeah, but you're smearing. No, it you're not smearing. Your dick. You're not going up with it. You go out. You get all the clean, and you go out. Yeah, but it's, it's shit. <laughs> your whole asshole is shit. It's true. Isn't that weird? You're like, oh, play with my ass. She's like, shit comes out of there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I want to be on board. That's but fine. you're crazy. You put feet in your mouth. That's true. God, I... <sighs> that, well, I don't know. The comments are going to be reckless. This Everyone listening to this podcast is like, whoa, I thought this Trevor guy was perfect until now. <laughs> I just... I just... What I'm trying to visualize is, do you remember the age at which you were like, I'm going to wipe like that? Uh, I think middle school at some point because I used to stand. I used to stand, but standing was so weird. You just you feel so uh, vulnerable. Yeah, I also think that like I always think that someone's gonna try to like look through, the, especially like uh, public ones. Yeah. I always think people are like in some weird way like looking through the crack at me. 
Yeah. You but that's go- what I'm saying. This is compact. It's low key. Well, boom. Well, boom. I mean, listen. I'll I- just give myself a couple UTIs, huh? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to... Have you had like dick problems because of that? No. I don't know. Very, there's never been. There's never been a girl that's like going down and then all of a sudden she immediately has to go home. <laughs> yeah. Every time a girl gags, I'm like, God, I got a big dick. She's like, no, the smell. I don't know if there's any. I don't think, dude, if the, if it smelled like poop, you could definitely you would smell know. it. But I just think you're like rolling the dice. And it's a thing you don't have to roll the dice, but you can just go. I've tried front the to back. I, have you? I've tr- Dude, the other weekend when we had this conversation, I was like, oh, you so did, the, yeah, yeah. The hubba bubs about. It's too, it's too weird. You're fucking reaching back in. You're like, what the hell's yeah, going on? Yeah, but I think on? it's also just like if my you ass never, felt weird the next day. But it's to say if you never like jerked off with your left hand, it's gonna feel really weird until you just continually do it and then you'll get used to it. I think you keep going. I think you'll feel good about yourself. You lean in and you, the backwards. Yeah, you lean, you lean a little to the left or whatever hand you are, a little bit of left. You make a origami swan, whatever the fuck you do with the toilet paper, and then you just. And so, I mean, sometimes I get a little lean, and then you just go like this, and then you go, boom. But you're just flicking shit. What, you're flicking shit towards your face. At I'm least like, I'm putting everything back this way. But aren't you're you just wiping it further into the crevice of the crack? But you're wiping it towards everything but that's I, meaningful. I, I'm wiping it back. Nothing happens back here. Everything that. But aren't you just spreading into the ass crack? No, I mean, I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting it. What that, do you mean? That's what I'm saying. I'm getting it. Yeah, but it's but, not like I'm doing this with a painter's but brush. But there's particles, buddy. There's shit particles. I mean, there's shit particles everywhere. Correct, but there's at least shit particles in your mouth. Right, right now, for sure, for sure. But now, but there's more shit particles that are headed towards your direction. Everything that you live for: your face, your tits, your dick, everything, and you're throwing them all that way. At least when I'm, I'm, we're shoving them back. Then why don't they make a toilet bowl that has more flexibility that when you do the lean, it's like a little pocket opens up and you got more space? Well, buddy, I you, just can, don't lean, like you the, can lean forward on the toilet bowl. Yeah, there you go. The, no, no, I'm why saying, don't like, they make so, it more so, so if, if you're if you're sitting like this regular, here we go. Yeah, we can get what you is one this? Of these. Uh, this is a toilet aids tool, long reach comfort wipe. It extends over 15 inches so that you don't have to feel bad about like the leaning over too far. What the? Well, what do you mean? I don't know how to do this. Do you put, you put the toilet ass? paper on that top part this of the is tip? Wild. But like, where do you? How do you fuck this thing? What is any of this? Someone invented this in a basement in Minnesota, and they're like, oh, this is going to change the world. He got a divorce because he fucking spent too much that time on this. That doesn't look like it adds any pressure. No, this is awful. Th- you think that was enough toilet paper? No. Where do you keep that thing? In bed? In your ass. <laughs> Maybe. I don't like this. You type in on Google, wrong way to wipe your ass. I already did. Is there a photo of me? Uh, yeah, it does say that. Is it, it bad to, to wipe back to front? What does it say? It depends. No, no, no go down. Yes, it, it says don't do what you do, but if you can't do the other thing, that, go that ahead. That says and do if it. you have a vulva, if you have a penis. No, it, it says urethra. Shut up. No, no, no. <laughs> what? No, look down here. It says, oh, it's about to wipe back to front if you have a penis. If you have a penis, you can wipe your anus back to front, front to back, up, down, all around. Whatever you do, it feels best, gets the job done. See, it doesn't matter. That's what I was saying. If I had a vagina, it feels like you're going right into it, but the dong's not even in the picture. It doesn't matter how you plow the snow if there's no car. Sir, read the that. last sentence on it. Your bits are further apart, so the spread of feces to your urethra is much less likely. Much less likely. Why don't you go zero I'm not wiping with my cock. I can't believe you're about to get a fucking urethra infection. Good. Maybe they'll prescribe me some Xanax or something. <laughs> I Look, it, 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 all you, it's, it's you not that big of a deal. What if you didn't need to be gluten-free? What if you just changed the way you wiped and you didn't, you didn't need it anymore? How would that have anything to do with my diet? I don't know, man. I'm just trying to fucking help you out. <laughs> Let me wipe your ass. Do it once for me. Wipe what? Wipe your ass? No, yours. You do yours, but sitting down, it's more convenient. You have to move around. Let me just. You don't have to worry about fucking. Let me pretend you're in a NASCAR race. Let me walk myself through it, dude. Even worse. This is what people used to get the most mad at me about. I used to put the toilet paper with it underneath, like that. Yeah, yeah. But nobody tells you this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right. And in a video, it was like this. I was like, ah, the worst part about this video. Everyone, shut up. Everyone yells at at everything. (laughs) Here you go. Yeah. All right, all, try, try, try not crumpling it up like a okay. You're a, right. A oh, math right. test you just all bombed right. on. Let me I'll be bombing math test, dude. I don't think I ever got a good grade on math. Nine test times twelve ever. I, no idea. Forty six. Whoa. Is it? Probably nine, nine times. No, no. All there's right. no way. No, that's so dumb. <laughs> you make noises. 
I've been making noises. I've been making noises, I've been making noises to cover dude, up how loud it is. Oh, yeah. Like, bro. I'll make cartoon noises. I'll go to a different bathroom in the house if somebody's downstairs. I'll go outside. <laughs> GG. A cop did not come for All right. <clears throat> Whoa, that was a quick one. Oh, oh, so my bad. Much. Hold on, hold on. Dude, look okay. at how much you're wasting. I, I will be the first one to tell you I waste. So, you go, do you use your hand? I usually, no, I usually fold it in like half and in half again, like a couple times. Oh, hold up, I got it. Gabe, get in here. This is great. Like yeah, this. Yeah, right? There you go. All right, so this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. I like this. It's a little more comfort. I mean, not comfort. I can, I can hold it a little better. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm going, I'm going forward. So I'm, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going back. I'm wiping it like you. Yeah, do you. Right, so I'm trying to get a UTI. Cool. No, no, no. Okay, go. All right, so do you put your legs up like this? Only if I'm getting my ass eaten, which is never because there's shit. No, I dude, haven't got my ass eating in a while. Well, cut the cameras. I mean, I'm getting in there. No, put your feet down like normal. Ain't nobody want to eat my ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right. So down it's here, it's very normal. And so, right hand, ready? Lift the sack right? up. You used to, you wipe with your left hand? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. I said right hand, ready? Oh, right hand, ready. Yeah. Left hand, sack up. Set, so I'm like, from the base. So I'm from the, the base. Yeah. Like okay. And I'm moving my dick <clears throat> out of the way. You're moving it to. Like your left side. Okay. So oh, now, side. Oh, open okay. canvas. Shovel. There's nothing down there. Okay. Open canvas. All right, I got it. And then you go down, <laughs> okay. and then you just fucking, and you you just- Yeah, but dude, I'm smearing- You're not smearing. I, look at this. I'm smearing. Yeah, I'm but smearing it's, you poop. get whole, and then you, and you come, like, like when you, you don't wipe, go against it. When you wipe, do you use put, pr put pressure, like, on your fingers yes. to get in your asshole? Yeah, a yeah, little bit. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I come. I mean, the <laughs> I mean, the toilet paper's not going to do it. So you, you go like this. So I'm this, and, and then, then... But but you you get the hole, and then you come out. Like, so, you don't, like, ride yeah, the but, fucking but, the but body. Dude, but, dude, listen. If Look, I going, know I'm wrong. Okay. I just don't know another way to do it. <laughs> okay. Because I tried the other way, and it made my ass feel weird, because like, I went against the grain. You go like like this, yep. and then the last smear, you're you're going towards everything. I get that, but I, I'm not riding I'm not riding the, the circumference of, of the pelvis. I, I get the hole and then I go down and out. Like, it's not like, let's say this is the body. I'm not yeah. riding the fucking, right. the, the bridge of it. I just get what I need. Yeah. Go down a little bit yeah. and then come out. Well, I don't even come out. I just. You just kind of do it quickly. Yeah. Do you ever make this sound it. when you do, when you wipe? Nope. You lost me. I'm curious to know. This looks like we all jerked our cocks. I mean, I don't know. It's, here's the thing. Uh, what, what, I don't know. Nobody told me this was wrong. Well, it's wrong. It's wrong, and it's I've been okay. I've this for you, so many years. Yeah, and you can continue to do it. It's totally fine. I mean, and I'm you, verified. Yeah, so you're verified. You have, you have a lovely girlfriend. You have a great career, so it's totally fine. Everything's going great. Um, I will say though, in 11 years, when I'm at your funeral because you die of diphtheria, it's okay. Diphtheria. Yeah. What is that? I don't know, but Sounds like on. a Dipset cover band. Dipset. All right. Well. Well, the internet game is going to explode. Do? Same as Michael, but you just fold it. Yeah. Mm. Well. I'm going to start folding. I, I did learn that. I'm going to start doing that. Yeah, the fold's good. Because yeah, also sometimes like years up. Fold, you can fold it. If you fold it bigger the you first time, you can fold uses. it again. Yeah. yeah. No, you don't do yeah. multiple wipes with the same toilet paper. Yeah, you Let's just say fold you fold it, it in half again. Then it's like a whole fresh new. Yeah, but then thing. you're using. It's like a shit ice cream sandwich. There's shit in there. In there. You go through no, half an Amazon no. every shit. No, you can fold. You can get more uses. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> you just crumble yours up, get one, and then dunk it in there? Yes, dude. Well, with the crumple. I'm wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> well. I know. No, with the crumple, that makes sense. Yeah. Why you can't get any more. Well, sometimes. But with, but with this. Sometimes you got to do a little more. You get the fucking, and then you can go like this, and that, then you get a, No, I mean, listen. I understand that there's, I understand that there's multiple uses on that, but that's just like. There's, At there's, the end of the day, we're still talking about an asshole. Yeah. Even the cleanest of assholes, you're still like, Chili's? Red Robin. Robin. Yum. Who did the yum part? Do you think the same guy made the same thing? The guy who wiped his ass back to front. I can't believe you do back to front, man. Here's it's, the thing. I don't even go back to front. I just go center to out. No. There's no like wind up. You just get in. You fucking. It's just a hole. It is a hole. It is a hole. If I had a vagina, I would not do that. I don't yeah, finger I, myself. <laughs> that's true. Oh my God. I would destroy my cooter if I was a girl. If I just had a cooter right now, Jesus Christ. You know what's crazy? Sometimes my girl just walk up to me and she's like, I think I'm kind of wet right now. I'm like, don't say that. Can't. Because now I'm like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do I do now? Right. But she's what, like, no, it's just the human body sometimes does that. 
Why doesn't it do it when I'm in the bed? Please help. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> because you wipe front to back. Probably. Or back to front, I mean. Jesus, this episode has been f- absolutely I, crazy. I, I hope there's people out there that are can back can back me. There's yeah. gonna be one person out of the thousands of listeners. Behave. And the name is Weber Tallis. <laughs> Trevor, is this you? No. Oh, I <laughs> know. I understand. Um, well, all right, guys. What? I think it's time for uh, sock talk. Please be an anonymous submission about a guy wiping his ass back front. Uh, we do have a we have a submission. This is comes from Dave, and Dave says that. Uh, uh, I just watched the Batman. Good. And I'm is it obs- called the Batman. Yeah, this new one's called the Batman. Whoa, that's dumb as shit. I feel like that English is wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and they said so. I just watched the Batman, and I'm obsessed with Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. I did not know Zoe Kravitz was a Catwoman. I don't know if she's in there either. Zoe Kravitz is the new Catwoman. Zoe Kravitz is in my top five. Really? Zoe Kravitz would catch it. Well, so that, I guess, kind of answers the question for you then. Because, well, his question is, uh, uh, who do you think, like, who would you choose between Zoe Kravitz, Catwoman, or Anne Hathaway, Catwoman? Oh, come on. Anne Hathaway? I don't want to fuck a Broadway show. Zoe Kravitz just has that Catwoman, like, she, like, it's, ugh, man, Let's she just say it. She looks like a dirty girl. Oh, my mother of Christ. Is that she, her in wow. the movie? No. That's in Dark Knight Rises. Wait, not no. being oh reflected on not being able to audition for Dark Knight Rises. Um, Why couldn't she do? It? She's got to look. God damn! Because that's somebody who looks like if she gave me attitude, I'd be like, hell yeah, I deserve this. Yeah. Yell at me. Yeah, dude, she would beat your ass. She and she would wipe that. it regularly. <laughs> um, she, it's that's I mean that's that's crazy. And so here's Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway was hot. Anne Hathaway Who's was a Batman very again? beautiful woman too. Batman's Robert Pattinson, and he looks oh, weird yeah. as fuck. As he does, he looks like emo Batman. Yeah. Uh, How many Batman movies are there? This is running up the check. There's yeah. There's been. A I'm million. scared to make a fucking second bang video. These guys have been running this for 48 <laughs> goddamn series. There's a shot of him in the trailer. Yeah, he's got like his hair kind of over his eyes. Yeah, he looks really? like he's blink blink 182 type. What shit. the hell has he been up to all these years? Him? Yeah. Oh, he's bagging out, dude. He's been in yeah. hundred movies. He also like he's one of those guys. He made a ton of money on twilight and then got to go do like a a bunch of cool movies that like probably didn't make as much money but yeah he just makes a24 movies right now yeah yeah he looks like he gets on a karaoke mic and just goes where are you and oh i'm so sorry i can't find the shot anymore there's a shot of him with some crazy glasses Uh, who who plays the old guy who plays the riddler uh the riddler is paul dano what yeah oh my god really that's one of my favorite actors yeah he's so good there she is wow <gasps> yeah, dude, you can say anything that's hot. Yeah, I know a thing or two about strays. She's I know a thing or two woman. about wiping back to front. Catwoman. Catwoman. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a pu- God. Hey! <laughs> I mean, dude, that's nuts, though. So we're picking are, Zoe are you Kravitz. Not, you're not into Zoe Kravitz? I think she's gorgeous. Okay, good. Can you bring up one thing for me? I think she looks me? great as that role. She was, uh, what's that, Pretty Little Liars? She was in that show, Pretty Little Liars. She was like this yoga instructor lady. I, I've seen dude, maybe four TV shows. Dude, align my chakras. And Big by Little cha- Lies? Huh? Big, Big Little, little lies. lies, yes, sir. Wait, I saw that. Oh, I did see that. Oh, my lordess of my Christ. She can just play a lot of roles. Now she has B.O. Cooter in that show. Yeah, I'm kind of into it though. Oh, yeah, yeah, we never talked about the B.O. Let's segue all the hate off of Trev Daddy for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, <laughs> ta- I'll, like, I'll take some of the heat now. Yeah, I like the smell of my girl's B.O. But I think it's like you were talking about. It's just like this is a person I really like, and it's like kind of like dirty and intimate. I like the smell of it. Yeah. Are we talking B.O. like armpit or are we talking B.O. down below? We're talking That's like arm, armpit B.O. Okay, okay. There is something if my girl's like, oh, she's got back from the gym. She goes, no, I smell bad. I was like, let me see. Yeah, let me get a let me get a little. Sniff. Let me get a quick God. whiff. Let me get God. a hit. Guys, I don't I, know what it is. It's the fucking your brain's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. I, listen, I, I this I, is where you're out. I know that I do a lot of wackadoo shit, yeah. but this is it's literally that makes me nauseous a bit. Really? Yeah. To like be like, oh, you stink. Let me smell. It's not even like a stink. It's like because I think guys get back from the gym and we just smell like cock. But th- like it's like a. It's a, I don't even know. I I I could jump behind the idea of this like 
caveman thing that we, we just carried I on. I think you're overlooking it. It's just a quick, like, oh, hold up. It's not like I enjoy this smell, but if you catch a whiff, you're like, oh, shit, okay. Mm, I that, kind well, of actually enjoy the smell. Here's the thing. Oh, that, yeah. is that like your gasoline smell? Well, yeah, me, well, but gasoline this. is also Would my you gasoline vape it? Small, smell. Uh, yeah, I'd vape it. <laughs> Gabriel, this is why, and please look this up, I really do think that the like the strong like they're at certain times of the month mm -hmm. a lady will have stronger bo because she's more fertile and i guarantee you that that's what it is can you please look oh, it up been reading books and shit? i read books sometimes all right god damn i'm reading the book a book called the talent code it's actually fucking sick it's not about like it's the idea of like people are not born with talent people are just like put in the right scenario and they work hard enough where they just build up enough talent like the whole idea of like, oh, that guy's just born with it, blah, blah, blah. Yes, people are born like six, eight and shit and can like dunk. But like LeBron wouldn't be LeBron unless he worked his dick off and was born in like the right environment. I mean, I could have told you that. All right. So why don't you write a book? <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're right, Michael. Yes! Armpit odor can exude women's fertility. and men Exude? Can yeah. And so men can use it sort of subconsciously to be like, time to impregnate. Buddy, listen. What? I, I know I fucking put a whole foot down my mouth and I know everyone thinks I'm a weirdo but sometimes I've been knowing things just off brain skills mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah. so this will be uh, interesting we can have so write in let us know what you think is the weirdest thing that happened this episode the way the Trevor wipes the fact that I like uh, to smell BO or that Michael balls his toilet paper up like a fucking Whoa, yeah, but, but you're putting extra on mine <laughs> have a little respect for your ass Hey, what do you mean? Honestly, Ask your ass. What does your ass want? Let me be honest. Actually, I'm going to defend this right now. If you ball it up, there's more undulation, so it catches. Undulation? I'm smart. Okay, Malcolm Gladwell. <laughs> Malcolm Gladwell. Imagine him fucking. 10,000 hours. <laughs> I'd beep. What? If you could fucking do it, who would it be? <laughs> All right. Don't answer. Batman. But, oh, yeah. Dude, Batman. Dude. I'm about to text my girl and be like, I got, I need Catwoman suit. That shit's hot. You don't already own that shit? I wish I did. Meow, bitch! All right, I'm going to say this one last thing before I have to go. The ball up, I'm going to defend right now because it has undulations. And I think- What is it, an undulation? Like, uh, it dips in waves. Crevices. Crevices. That I think it actually can, can capture more poop than your well, dumb I ass- I think that's actually the opposite. Not at all, sir. It, Explain it, yourself. It's pushed out, like it's pressured. So yeah. it's not getting in there. Yeah. Well, the I, no. folded toilet paper creates a perfect seal against the asshole because there's no dips and crevices. Yours, there's the leaving like pockets of air where there's like uh No, but this is grabbing. It's what? Th these are all like little shovels. <laughs> it's, it's grabbing it's grabbing the poop. No. Yes. You're literally wiping your ass with paper mache. You're wiping your ass like, with you know those little dolphin things that, skin. You know what people do this thing? Like pick yeah. a, a fortune teller. What ones? is that called? I don't know, but I always fuck them up. Oh, I so never like pick did one. It. It's like four. Okay, you're gonna end up saying it. Like, how do we? Yeah, they're picking green. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, Dude, they're like not letting inside job. Fucking, you're like, what? That's how you get fucking finger right there. Shimo. That's how I'm gonna get my ass fingered. All right, <clears throat> Michael listen. Ryan, please let us know in the comments because I, I have high anxiety now. Yeah, you're. I think we all have problems, and I think we're just one of the only shows that's okay and confident enough to just let us know, let you guys know our problems. Trevor? Yeah, that was all an act. I, I have wide. <laughs> With the back, like the no, you don't ball. do. When you told me that at the goddamn airport, I almost did a backflip. No, I wipe normal. I, I I do the behind the bag shit. It was I just lean into. It. It's a character. It's all no, a character. I understand. Also, we have really left off the fact that John the cameraman stands up like I, he's four years old. Does he also do? Does he do a combination of you two? Does he Dude, up stand up back to front? That's crazy. <laughs> you yeah. want World War Three to happen? Stand up back to front. You just shot up a David's bridal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. All right, we are we uh do we do uh, we do we, it? We're 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 reaching on Joe Rogan episode yeah, last year. Yeah, do we do well, we do it? Technically, we're at an hour twenty one. We haven't done a secret sock. Um, do we want to just do one really quick? Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, do it. yeah. Cool. Uh, Gabe's still this whole yeah, Gabe's yeah, so mad. So we've got an anonymous submission that says, "All right, so I've got a problem. I've been with my girlfriend for about three years. Break we've been having there. sex right, for <laughs> about one year, or oh, one and a half oh, please years. Please read it again to have it so you have a clean. Uh, <laughs> they've been. <laughs> I've been with my girlfriend for about three years and we've been having sex for about one and a half years, give or take. The problem is we can go for like 40 minutes to an hour and I have yet to finish with her. Flex. I've never had a girlfriend before this, so she has been the only girl I've ever been with and I feel bad for her that she hasn't made me come yet. I still really enjoy the sex. It feels great and it's a lot of fun, but I just haven't been able to come yet. I'm 19, almost 20, if, you, if that's relevant. <clears throat> Dude, I've run into slash have friends that 
that really do have this issue mm -hmm. where they literally cannot come and it doesn't have anything to do with like their sex drive towards their lady. There's just like, I think it's like a, and this is just me kind of speculating. I think there is something when you're younger, you like train yourself to come in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way you can come. Like I have a friend that's a comic in New York that I'm not going to say his name. He like likes pressure. So he like would like, pr like press his, like press his dick and the pressure of it makes him come. So like that's sex doesn't do that. So like he trained his brain to only come like that. So like he he has to like have sex with his wife at this point. His wife has sex with her, and then has to like come in that very specific way. So it's not. I, I'm, I'm. I also think you're in your head now. Cause you're like, am I gonna come this yeah, time? And once you're in your head, true. you can't come. Yeah. The second I get in my head, the nut has clocked out. Yeah. The only time I've ever been in my head is when I'm drunk. I can come, and not to make this gentleman feel bad, but I mean, actually, feel bad for me because I can come. I, I mean, I've come for me, so fast. Like, I'll get in my head if if it's like a round two thing. I'm like, oh, I don't think we're going to be able to. Yeah, then I put yeah, that in my head. Yeah. Or if it's like too hot wherever I am. Shower, too hot. Bedroom, too hot. AC on. Too. I can't fucking this. I, want, I cannot come in the shower. So for some odd reason, the water is like a distraction in my brain. And so I'm like trying to think of like, oh, this water's hot. Am I coming? Like, it's just, it's too, too there's much. too much sensation. Um, But back to this, back to the question, man. I don't like. Well, I've heard that same thing. I've, I've actually read before that there can be a problem where like if you're, I mean, and I don't know if this is true, but maybe it's not, but like if you're jerking off too much or you've been doing that for a long time yeah. and you like fucking hold it really hard, that it's just like, and you program yourself that that's the only way you can come. And so then it gets harder to like yeah. you know, do it during sex. So it could be that, but I think it also could be the just in your head now because you built it up to be this thing. 100%. Dude. It, yeah, it might be the combination of both things. And I'm positive and we would have to do some more research, but I'm positive there's like forums online to like, if it is the thing where you change your, your brain to come in a specific way, I'm sure there's a way to untrain it. And there might be like a bunch of forms. So I might like do a little bit of research on that. Um, but yeah, man, if you're like, if you're super into your girl and you like you, super hard and you're like, you like, you know, that whole like feeling of like want to take your clothes off, that type of thing, um, then it's not that. And so like, and don't feel alone because 100% you're not because I know a lot of people that are like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, I think there's ways to untrain your brain if it, if it, if it's that, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, you can untrain your brain for anything, you know, just like wiping the wrong way, <laughs> Michael. Sir, your cock has polio. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's like, yo, dick's on fire. And I'm like, ah, no. NBA jam. You like, want to play with red hair and I was a ginger kid who was Jewish. You think I expected to know things the right way? That's true. It's fair. I was 5'4 and had no dad. I don't know what the hell's happening. Well, well holy shit. This is a Rogan episode. That's installment of Stiff Socks, the podcast. Hopefully people didn't listen long enough to hear me uh, <laughs> wipe the wrong way. No, they definitely. I'm don't. nervous. Are people gonna yell at me? Hey, DM me if you if you wipe how I wipe. Let me know. Yeah. So you gonna get one DM from an iguana? He's like, I got you. <laughs> hey, all right. That's another installation of Sif Socks. Sign him out, guys. Thank you so much, man. Holy shit, this has been incredible. Uh, friendly reminder that we have a Patreon. Uh, we have four extra episodes that drop every single Friday, ad free. Um, they're a little more wild because our parents do not listen. So. Uh, jump on that. It's only five dollars a month, less than a cup of coffee. Go on uh, patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. Uh, we have some iconic episodes. We interviewed Gabe, we interviewed uh, Trevor's girlfriend, we interviewed a girl that banged me that let me know how bad I was at sex. So definitely jump on there. Um, that's it, man. Thank you guys so much. Uh, rate, subscribe, and review it really helps us out. And sign on and subscribe to the goddamn YouTube. We love you. Good bye.